The Love Song of Ardile, by Rudyard Kipling. Alone upon the housetops to the north, I turn and watch the lightning in the sky, the glamour of thy footsteps in the north. Come back to me, beloved, or I die. Below my feet the still bazaar is laid, far, far below the weary camels lie, the camels and the captives of thy raid. Come back to me, beloved, or I die. My father's wife is old and harsh with years, and drudge of all my father's house am I, my bread is sorrow and my drink is tears. Come back to me, beloved, or I die. Love Secret by William Blake Never seek to tell thy love, love that never told can be. For the gentle wind does move, silently, invisibly. I told my love, I told my love, I told her all my heart. Trembling, cold, in ghastly fears. Ah, she did depart. Soon as she was gone from me, a traveler came by, silently, invisibly, he took her with a sigh. Love and Friendship by Emily Bronte Love is like the wild rose briar, friendship like the holly tree. The holly is dark when the rose briar blooms, but which will bloom most constantly? The wild rose briar is sweet in spring, its summer blossoms scent the air. Yet wait till winter comes again, and who will call the wild briar fair? Then scorn the silly rose wreath now, and deck thee with the holly's sheen, that when December blights thy brow, thee still may leave thy garland green. A Fantasy by Sarah Teasdale Her voice is like clear water, that drips upon a stone, in forests far and silent, where quiet plays alone. Her thoughts are like the lotus, a bloom by sacred streams, beneath the temple arches, where quiet sits and dreams. Her kisses are the roses, that glow while dusk is deep, in Persian garden closes, where quiet falls asleep. A Love Song, by Theodosia Garrison My love it should be silent, being deep, and being very peaceful should be still, still as the utmost depths of ocean keep, serenely silent as some mighty hill. Yet is my love so great it needs must fill, with very joy the inmost heart of me, the joy of dancing branches on the hill, the joy of leaping waves upon the sea. Love by Emily Elizabeth Dickinson Love is interior to life, posterior to death, initial of creation, and the exponent of breath. Valentine's from Man in Constant Constant by Arthur Macy After Henri Murger, though I love many maidens fair, as fondly as a heart may dare, Yet still are you, the only one, true goddess of my pantheon. And though my life is like a song, each made a stanza, clear and strong, yet always I return again, to you, who are the sweet refrain. Love Songs, by Sarah Teasdale. I have remembered beauty in the night, against black silences, I wake to see. A shower of sunlight over Italy, and green Ravello dreaming on her height. I have remembered music in the dark, the clean swift brightness of a fugue of bashs, and running water singing on the rocks, when once in English woods I heard a lark. But all remembered beauty is no more, than a vague prelude to the thought of you. You are the rarest soul I ever knew. Lover of beauty, nightliest and best. My thoughts seek you as waves that seek the shore, and when I think of you, I am at rest. 
Love's Tenderness by Richard Legallian. Deem not my love is only for the bloom, the honey and the marble, that was you. Tis so, beloved, common loves consume their treasury and vanish like the dew. Nay, but my love's a thing that's far more true. The little love's a little hour has room, but not for us their brief and trivial doom. In a far richer soil our loving grew, from deeper wells of being it upsprings. Nor shall the wildest kiss that makes one mouth, draining all nectar from the flowered world, slake its divine unfathomable drought. And, when your wings against my heart lie furled, with what a tenderness it dreams and sings. Love Song by Paul Lawrence Dunbar If death should claim me for her own today, and softly I should falter from your side, oh, tell me, loved one, would my memory stay, and would my image in your heart abide? Or should I be as some forgotten dream, that lives its little space, then fades entire? Should time send o'er you its relentless stream, to cool your heart, and quench for high love's fire? I would not for the world, love, give you pain, or ever compass what would cause you grief. And, oh, how well I know that tears are vain. But love is sweet, my dear, and life is brief. So if some day before you I should go, Beyond the sound and sight of song and sea, it would give my spirit strong the wings to know that you remembered still and wept for me. Romance by Edgar Allan Poe. Romance, who loves to nod and sing, with drowsy head and folded wing, among the green leaves as they shake, far down within some shadowy lake. A mere painted parakeet, has been, a most familiar bird, taught me my alphabet to say, to lisp my very earliest word, while in the wild wood I did lie, a child, with a most knowing eye. Of late, eternal condor years, so shake the very heaven on high, with tumult as they thunder by. I have no time for idle cares, through gazing on the unquiet sky. And when an hour with calmer wings, itched down upon my spirit flings, that little time with lyre and rhyme, to while away, forbidden things. My heart would feel to be a crime, unless it trembled with the strings. Upon love by Robert Herrick. Love's a thing, as I do hear, ever full of pensive fear. Rather than to which I'll fall, trust me, I'll not like at all. If to love I should intend, let my hair then stand an end, and the terror likewise prove, fatal to me and my love. But if horror cannot slake, flames which would an entrance make, then the next thing I desire, is, to love and live I fire. 